Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burks Photography and today I'm going to be doing a really simple edit of this photo and then showing you how to use groups in Photoshop. So um, I'm just going to get started here. It's going to be a really basic edit. I'm just going to come down here to my adjustment layer button and then go to curves. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with curves, but I'm just going to brighten her up a little by dragging the line up and that just kind of increases the overall brightness of the photo uh, right around the mid-tone area of the line. Uh, and then I want to kind of darken the shadows a little bit, but give it a little bit of a like a matte look. So I'm going to do that just by dragging that um, the bottom point here on the shadows, just dragging it over here underneath this diagonal line. And that way it keeps your shadows dark, but it kind of gets rid of that highlight there, which gives it, I mean, sorry, uh, which gets rid of the detail in your shadows, which kind of gives it that matte look. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do, just choose a solid color and we'll go for like a warm tone here. So I'm just going to choose like a neutral warm color and hit OK. And then I'm going to put this in soft light blend mode. And if you turn that on and off, you'll see it just gives it a little bit of like a warm light color. Um, and then I'm not going to do any tweaking to this. I'm just going to go in here and we'll do another one. I just want several different layers here so we can, get, we can really see the benefit of having the group. Um, and then I'm going to go to Levels, and I'm going to go where it says RGB, I'm going to hit Blue, and I'm going to increase the blues and the midtones here, but then take them out of the shadows just by dragging over here. And what that does is kind of gives the midtones this creamy skin color um, without giving that blue, um, blue shadowed look. So here is just the, the quick, simple, basic edit, um, nothing extravagant. And then I want to show you groups and so you can either do this one of two ways you can group these three layers together um, of course if you did want to tweak these you could turn these opacities down individually um, but let's say that you liked this overall edit you just didn't want it quite as strong so you don't want to like take these um, layers down individually you kind of just wanted to do it as a whole um, so you could do that one of two ways you can hit this um, folder button down here which is the group and then you can hold down your control or your command key to select all three of these at once and then just drag and drop it right there in the group and then it's all grouped together and then I'm going to delete this group really quick group only and just show you another way to do it and that is to just hold down control for each of these layers and then you can hit control or command G on your keyboard and that will put them all in their own group as well and then from here um, it's at 100% opacity so you can take this down a little bit um, if you want to do it overall um, you know take all of the layers down as one overall or you can even leave it at 100 let's say and you can add a layer mask to this group which means that you'll be masking it off um, you'll be masking off all three of those layers but at one time so you wouldn't have to do three separate layer masks um, let's grab a black color just because our layer mask is white um, and then on my opacity is at 19 percent I think that's pretty good we just kinda wanna subtly take this brightness off her face here um, and this will help if you really like the overall edit. You just thought it was a little bit too much in some spots. Maybe her hand, um, her arm here might be a little too bright. And so that way with this group, you can kind of take all three of these layers in here um, and then just mask them off all at once. It's kind of a time saver and it's also a way to keep your layers panel over here organized. And you could say, you know, if you wanted to add on to this edit later, you could even write this one as, you know, basic edit or something that would help you remember these little tweaks that you did. Um, and then you can continue on with your other edits and put those in groups. Um, it's just kind of a way to organize it but also to help you out so that you don't have to mask each layer off individually. Uh, you can kind of do it as a whole and get like a more um, flexible way of editing if you will. So that's just a quick little edit and showing how to use groups. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography. Thanks so much and have a great day.